Hi everybody, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. This is a project I did, and then when I went to edit it, it was all gone. I don't know where it went, but this is one of the projects I made today. Hope you like that one. Now let's get to this other one. These are all the items I used. I used a Dollar Tree heart shaped uh, wreath form, the deco mesh I got for 90% off on at Walmart at Christmas time, right after Christmas, and the other two is a um, ribbon, Valentine's ribbon, and then the Chanel sticks that's also from Walmart. Now, I'm just measuring these out to 8 inches long, and I'm just going to be bundling one white and one red together to um, make this uh, wreath. I love wreaths, and so I eventually will have one for every single season and every single month. So I'm just uh, rolling these up, and I'm using the Chanel stem, and I'm just uh, wounding around it. And I used white so that in the end you won't be able to see it. So here I am, and I'm just hooking it on that center one. This is so uh, full. I only need one row. I don't need to put any on the outside or the inside. And what I do with all those ends is I kind of uh, wrap, like swirl them together, twist them, and then I tuck all the ends in so that it won't scratch my front door or if I hang it on the wall, it won't scratch it. I just make sure that all the ends are down and that it's pretty flat. Then, once I'm done with that, let's, well, I'll get to that part, but if you don't mind um, subscribing to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and hit the um, notification bell, as well as please comment. Okay, so as you saw, that was really full. Now, I got this from Dollar Tree, and I'm just taking the love off of it. I'm going to do something else different with that heart in an upcoming, another upcoming video. So I am cutting this uh, ribbon and I am going to make a bow. Now I'm just going to use the Chanel stem to go around it. Now here is my uh, bow making machine. It's not a machine, it's just my bow maker that I made. Now I just grabbed enough for the tails and I'm just going to cut that off. And then I'm going to start making my uh, bow. Now I can do this without this uh, bow maker, but it's easier to show you. Now this is a really uh, flimsy yarn, uh, ribbon, but it does have wires. So I'm doing two loops at five inches on both sides. Now when I go to the center, I twist it so that the outside of the ribbon is poking on the outside, of course, as well as it gives it a little bit more girth. Now my second set of loops is four inches, and I do two on each side of that as well. And I'm running out of ribbon, but I have enough to do two little loops at um, about an inch and a half. So I go ahead and I do that, and then I'm going to grab that off of there, and grab the Chanel stem, and as you see, I'm just twisting it to secure it. Now, I'm going to uh, dovetail the ends of the, um, of the tails, but I'm kind of poofing it up um, so I get an idea of what this is going to look like see if I need to add anything else and I decided just to go with this bow even though the wreath is really full I still really like it so I went ahead and trimmed off some of those ends they were kind of poking out and I didn't want them to here I'm cutting the dovetails it's just folding it and cutting on a diagonal down to the edges so I'm going to grab my wreath and I'm going to just use those the Chanel stem and 
hook it um, down in to the onto the wreath form and I'm having to dig down there it's really full even though I did just one row but I don't do it um, to where it's pulling it I kind of make sure that it's still sitting on top and this is probably the mm -hmm. fullest uh, wreath I've ever done it is so full and so beautiful so I'm going to go ahead and poof those up move my tails around make sure it's looking great and then I'm going to grab that love and it is going to just be glued right there and I'm just going to use hot glue and I'm just fidgeting with it because I'm just not quite sure exactly how I want it to look but I go ahead and I grab my um, hot glue gun and I'm just going to put glue on half of it put it down and then I'll lift up the other part now this gets really hot so what I because it's metal so I have um, a Dollar Tree uh, makeup spatula and a Dollar Tree spoon that's silicone that I use to um, push, to hold things so that I don't get burnt by um, hot glue or the metal. So I'm just going to grab those because that is so, so, so hot. And I'm just going to push them down so that it is all adhered and then I'm going to um, make the ribbons, mm -hmm. the tails look more a little bit more natural and so I'm going to glue those down so they kind of look like they're rippled. I like that look and so I'm just sticking that down and then I'm going to do the other side and I really love this. It looks beautiful on my front door. Of course, my front door right now is red. It's not going to be staying red, but it just really accents it. And it is really full. We have to really push on the door to get it shut. And I told my husband, that's fine. It's not going to hurt it to be squished a little bit. Even the bow, it's not going to hurt it if it's squished some. So I hope you guys really like this one. Now, my next one is, oh, I'm putting a jute hanger on that. It does, I don't show it, it's off camera, but, okay, I'm using my little uh, Ladybug vacuum cleaner. It's amazing. It's on my Amazon store. I have a link tree, a link tree, and all my links are in there, and I'll put it in the description box. Okay, I grabbed some red paint. And I've got my uh, chalk paint that I made. And I'm going to, I've got this little um, truck that I got from Dollar General. Thank you, Melissa, from Melissa um, DIY. Um, I saw she got this in the haul, and I went to Dollar General the next day and picked it up. I think this is just so cute. So I'm going to paint the base red. Now, I really love these old trucks. They're just so, um, they remind me of when I was a kid. My uh, father had an old truck like this, and a lot of my friends did. And I don't always like red trucks. I love blue ones, green ones, black ones, it don't matter. So this one is not going to be red, but the base is red. So I'm going to grab, um, now I'm going to grab my white chalk paint that I made and I'm doing um, white all over this truck. And it's not going to be a white truck, but I'm going to start with white and you'll see what I end up doing. But the tires are going to be red. I figured, what the heck, I can do what I like, right? It's crafts. It doesn't have to be black tires. I've actually seen tires that were not black, so. But I've been around a long time. Okay, so I'm just getting this all done. I ended up doing two coats on the base and two coats on the white to get it uh, full coverage on this little truck. So 
once I'm done with this, then I'm going to um, start working on the hearts and the um, tires. So I'm just doing that big one. That's the only one of the hearts that's going to be red is um, that the largest one. And then I'm going to uh, work on the tires. And I'm making them all red. And I'm just doing one coat of this red on that heart as well as the tires. I like the way it looked with just the one coat. So I just go for it. Get that all done. I know I'm a little late getting Valentine's out. I'm going to do this video and I'm going to do one more next week. Here I'm putting my second coat on that base. I liked it. It looked, made it look so it wasn't so pink. But um, I hope you guys really enjoy this. Okay, now I am going to do my second coat of the white um, just so it's got full coverage. It just it looked dingy um, with just one, and I want it to be crisp because I'm going to be doing um, something on the white, and I wanted the full coverage. Now, after I get done with this, doing this, I'm going to grab, um, put some of that white on my palette, and then I'm going to um, mix with a small brush the white with some of the the red and I'm going to get a dark really pretty dark pink so that I'm going to do on two of the hearts and then like I said this has got because it's got the chalk paint and with that paint I don't need more than just the one coat of paint on this and then I'm going to grab some mix that in with the white and get a really light pink and I'm going to do that last heart with that lighter pink and then I'm going to grab another different paintbrush I've got tons of paintbrushes so first I start I'm just kind of acting like these are highlights and I liked it and then I didn't like it so I decided that um, after I did all of this that I needed to add a little bit more white on top of this pink so that it didn't look so splotchy so that's when I grabbed first I decided to glue this in I so I hot glued it and that's when I decided to put some more white paint on it actually I, I didn't hot glue it yet Pfft, jumping before me I realized that the edging need to be painted I had forgot so I'm just painting it white and because um, it looked kind of dark when these pieces are cut they're cut by a machine sometimes the machine is kind of hot and kind of singes the edges so I only did one coat it just took away that dark singe look that is on it and I didn't worry about the bottom or the insides I I thought it looked good now I'm putting a little bit of that white on the pink and the red for like highlights and then I decide to go ahead and glue that in and sorry I got my tea sitting there I bumped it and I kind of spilt a little so I had to move it out of the way now I'm just kind of going over that pink and I'm just like um, subduing it so it kind of looks like a, a light pink truck I'm I like pink I like periwinkle and purple better but pink works so really hope you guys enjoy these um, and please watch out for my next Valentine's video 
it'll all be done before the 14th. So you guys have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.